Hey everyone on YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a minute, life's been hectic, but today I want to discuss my emote, both like as a group and like what I do with my coven and also give a little bit of an altar tour. So uh, really quickly, uh, I decided to keep the same cloth because I didn't have another one in a different color that I wanted. So I decided to mix it up with a few things. So we've got candles in the back. Um, I chose purple for my connection to the spirits and the, and the ancestors that I work with. Um, I tried to find white. Um, I can't remember the other color that I used on top of my head, but I used these two, one for spirit and one for the change of season. Um, I tried to incorporate a ton of different crystals in here, uh, sort of a transition from winter vibes, like that sort of in between winter and uh, spring vibes, so more uh, bright colors in here. Um, I know I've got more carnelian pieces, some more other brighter colored pieces. I tried to add some citrine, but I don't have as much citrine as I thought I did. Um, when I was preparing this altar, I um, was looking at what I was going to really do, and I keep a lot of stuff up until the season's kind of passed. Um, I keep it up for like a week or two before the next sort of set, but I think seasonally we are heading into spring a little bit more because it is kind of sunnier where I am. And um, when I was celebrating Mulk for myself as a group, uh, this altar really came in handy because I was able to do a lot of stuff. Um, I was also able to add some more quartz in here. I added some rose quartz for um, the love and unconditional love and the love of the self. I added some rainbow obsidian. These are the magnetic pieces. These pieces are actually magnetic. So you can see this, these are stuck together. Um, it's a little blurry. We're going to put them here. See if I've got some rainbow obsidian, some um, rainbow obsidian pieces that are there those are the magnetic ones they're literally stuck together i keep repeating myself <clears throat> um still have hematite um i put labrador right here as well uh, i've been working with labradorite a lot carnelian of course um and i think i've got a couple other quartz pieces and then of course my signature pyramid here on the right side um and then this little bowl of crystals next to this little pouch here um, these are crystals I work with on a regular basis, uh, stuff I, I kind of spend time with these crystals a lot, um, offerings, offering bowl, um, an offering cup. These are crystals for my gods and spirits. We've got sunstone, tektite, carnelian, um, and I think another carnelian piece somewhere. Um, when I was celebrating in Mulk this year though, as alone as a solitary, uh, I kind of kept it low key. I just cleaned and prepared my altar. Um, I cleansed my space. I feel like this year was all about cleansing, renewal, and protection. So I did a protection spell, among other spells. I did a spell for um, prosperity, in addition to a few other ones, animal, and I also did a lot of offerings at that time. Um, blessed these candles that I have, the purple and the, the other color here, the tapers. Um, these are all spells on this side, these papers and things. These are all spells um, of some sort. Uh, of course, the ever-present affirmation card. Um, I actually am going to switch these out when the season changes again. Um, I also did a lot of cleaning and cleansing of my items that I use in my practice so I can kind of reorganize things as a way of bringing forth renewed energy and I also did some consecration as well when I did this altar setup I tend to re-consecrate my space so that's how I celebrated Imok both as a solitary and as a group um, as a group we did a really um, long celebration and it went really well and we had a really good time um, I'm really learning a lot being in a coven and especially with something like Imok because Imok is not something I really um, usually connect to 
So it was a lot of fun to connect with others and learn about the season and connect in that way. We also have some divination stuff here too. Got my amethyst from meditation, another amethyst I use. Um, I have some other crystals in this little tiny bag. My incense burner and then my divination crystals. Um, and I'm also looking into other forms of divination as well, so stay tuned for that. Hope y'all are well and speak to us soon. Let me know how you celebrated Imok if you did, and if you didn't, it's cool too. I hope you're having a great season and talk soon. If you like what you see so far, please like, subscribe, and share. Speak to you soon. Bye.